this iridescent, uh, not iridescent, but the black ear shark catfish. He seems, uh, seems to have claimed this corner to himself, which I have never seen a black ear be a sorry for aggressive to anything. They are so timid and so skittish. But I've recently observed this this uh, older black ear uh, shark catfish drive dorado catfish out of this corner because dorado swims laps around the whole tank and whenever he comes over to this corner right here by the bottom drains the redemption shark wants him out I guess because he's also silvery and shiny kind of fish like he is that thing on its, on its nose is a blister used to be a blister that solidified or ossified it became like a like bone or cartilage You can notice that Dorado doesn't come to this corner much anymore. He tries to avoid this corner, but once in a while he still, he still comes over here. See? See, he was... Tr the black here was reacted to Dorado and tried to drive him out of here. So Dorado doesn't come to this part of the tank much anymore. This black ear has been with us for a long time and uh, he stopped growing a long time ago too. In the last five years he hasn't grown. Still stuck at about foot and a half, maybe 20, 21 inch. Which is small for this species, so it's probably a runt. Or uh, a badly stunted specimen. Yeah, see, he, he doesn't like other fish in here much either. Very peculiar. I've never seen territorial behavior from a black ear shark, see? Yes, he just tried to bite the Dorado. Wow, that's a ton of unexpected tone of events. I always thought the black ears and the resin shark catfish, they're so timid, so uh, skittish, flighty. Such pushovers that usually anything can hurt them, like Paku or even uh, Cynodontis, Eupterus, the feather fin, can rasp them. Paku can bite their fins. See, he doesn't like that arrow barbel here either. Tries to get it out. Neither, neither the sun catfish. The other black here doesn't come in this corner at all. Much younger one. Yep, Dorado's flying through this part of the tank, not to get attacked by, by the older black here.
Well, this is a first for me. Had this fish and other black ears for I must say what 16 since 2016 we've had them. So uh, today is 2023. That's seven years. I've had this black ear and others, and I've never seen them be territorial or bother any other fish. This is the first. The season is changing, the water is warming up, so maybe it's part of the breeding behavior. This fish is probably about eight or nine years old. We didn't get it as a baby in 2016, we got it uh, already sizable. And I don't know its prior history. Who's had it for how long? So I'm only guessing maybe it was a year or two old when we got it. I tried removing that um, ossified blister, but it grew back, so I didn't try again. I tried only once. I don't know if you noticed, he just chased one of the four-line pim catfish or pimilotos blocky eye catfish out of here. So that's most likely and almost definitely a, yep, he's chasing that aural barbel out of here. Maybe he's the one who killed that aural barbel that I recorded on yesterday. I don't know. Now that I'm starting, I'm starting to doubt it, that it was the Dorado. Dorado one more see he just rammed him and and try to and drive him away wow well live and learn you thought you know the fish after having it for seven years but you don't <laughs>